What's up guys? Welcome back once again for another video. So today's video is kind of about this rig. You guys remember this rig? This was one of the first ones on my channel. It was actually the second one. This is the Warthog. This is a 3D printed body. And of course it is a belly dragger. I think I set this thing up with dead bolts, dead bolt front and rear links. I'm almost sure I did. And it's it's a light build, so it's not anything fancy. Everything is everything is stock on this thing, including the motor. The only thing that's not stock is of course the receiver. And I have a this is the Lizard, not the Lizard Pro, this is the first Lizard. Real good running rig. The wheels are by Power Hobby and the tires are the, um, what are these, KR3s I think? Yeah, KR3s. Shocks, I forgot exactly, I think that may have been uh, Power Hobby as well, can't really remember. These are just actually covers that I painted. And that is a Trill Link. Still has a stock servo. I hear a lot of complaints about the stock servo. I hadn't had any problems at all. Of course, you guys probably know NSDRC so far right now has been my favorite. Um, that's in my comp rigs, but this thing is a blast. It's just time for something that is gonna be new. I just wanna see something different. Love this chassis, guys, so maybe giving it away pretty soon as well. I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna show you guys what this thing will be converted to next. There you go guys, as you can see, this is a hard park product. This is my first item I ever bought from hard park. They got some really cool stuff that I like. And uh, this is one of the things I've been talking about for a while. Some of you guys may know what, is it, what it is, may not know what it is. Um, they shipped the UPS. UPS did a pretty bang up job. I'm just hoping everything is still in the box. They kind of, yeah. And I know it's, it's not any fault of theirs. I, I ship stuff all the time and man, there's always a problem somewhere. But hopefully everything is here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my trusty unboxing knife. If you guys are interested in some cool knives, go to the link below about the everyday carry and um, check out some of those knives. out of the way really nicely packaged I'm gonna show you this first and then I'll show you the other part and you'll understand why I have the other part look like everything is here so that's good so my hard part can you guys tell so this is the carbon dementor chassis this is the accessory tray I've been wanting to switch to one of these for a long time. Got some cool tires. I'm not really sure which ones I'm gonna go with. I'm thinking about doing the pins. I'm thinking about extending the um, axles out. I'm gonna say four millimeters. I think I got some four millimeter axles. And so I think I'm gonna do that. And I don't know what else I'm gonna do to it. I hadn't really made my mind up. I don't know if I'm gonna change the electronics out because the V1 Lizard is working fine for me. So I think I'm gonna keep that for the time being. Um, I don't know, just different wheels and tires for right now. And I'm gonna probably eventually just go ahead and do the NSD RC servo. And I may even go so far as changing the links to um, probably, I'm gonna say the, the C10 uh, links. I'm pretty sure, cause I'm probably pretty sure this one needs to be built in that way just to make the proportions look right. But I am gonna do that as well. So that's one of the things I'm gonna do to it. So it's not gonna be a whole lot more outside of the servo and from where it is now, the servo and the links and the wheels and tires of course, because I think I might try to enjoy pins on it. 
I'm not really, really a great big fan of the large tire, so I'm not really sure. I'm to the point where guys, where I really like Patagonia's, uh, I really, almost to the point where it's like, I like to have either Patagonia's or Pro X's. Those, for me right now, have been the best that I had so far. I tried quite a few different ones. Those are the ones that performed the best. Patagonia's by far from where I crawl have been the best. Um, the Pro X is coming up. That's gonna, uh, that's gonna be a hard second for me. I'm gonna say it's a second out of everything I tried. I'll go over some of my tires one day because I do have a ton of tires. Got a bunch that I hadn't tried so far. But this thing is gonna be converted into the Dementor. I'm very excited about that. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I forgot the company that originally owned um, this. I remember emailing them and they were actually going out of business or whatever. I don't know what happened, but they were they were non-existent anymore. I emailed the guy, could never get in contact with him. And finally, I saw Hard Park. I guess they bought the design or whatever and they were selling them. And I've been wanting to get one for a while and I just got too many projects going on, as you guys know, because I'm all over the place with everything. Um, but I'm getting a little bit better because I'm about to finish up about two things back to back. I'm working on about three and I got a fourth that I'm thinking about doing. But anyway guys, I just wanted to come show you these parts, show you what this Warthog will be switched into and stay tuned guys because I'm going to do a giveaway on that as well. For you guys that are not subscribed, please subscribe to me. Go ahead and hit that sub button. It doesn't cost you a dime and hit that notification button if you will. Till next time guys, this is GNC RC. Thanks for watching.